Have a holly jolly Christmas It's the best time of the year I don't know if there'll be snow But have a cup of cheer Have a holly jolly Christmas And when you walk Tonight we're running on the right track Welcome, 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 everyone. I'm sure you have missed the gaming den. I would think you would miss the gaming den. I would hope you'd missed it. It's been a couple days or a couple weeks. Uh, you know, we've had sick members. It's the joys of this season where there's also holidays and all that kind of fun stuff. But everyone, welcome to the 17th episode of the gaming den. This show brings you a lot of different topics along with some fun entertainment from myself and my lovely co-host. And with, hey. with no further ado, I am She-Wolf joined today with my co-host... I like how I was already jumping into it. I was like, hi, I was already ready yeah, to talk. Yeah, let's go, were. let's do I this. I was like, she's all ready to go. Let's do this. We're just jumping <laughs> through. We ain't even waiting. Yeah. Though. Yeah, jump in the gun. I'm ready. But, um, but yeah, I, you're right. We have been taking like little breaks here and there because of family stuff, because of the holidays, because most of us weren't feeling that well. And I'm, I am relating this to Console Corner as well for everybody mm -hmm. who's listening. But overall, um, I'm still doing awesome. I still love doing these shows when we are, like, available and scheduled to. Um, but yeah, besides that, how are you? How's Mixer Life? Oh my god, Mixer Life is crazy. Did you know that we actually went from, like, 2k not that long ago? Yeah, well, I remember We are that. now officially f over 4k followers on Mixer. What? Yeah, oh that is insane, God. and it wasn't, it, like, it hasn't even been that long since I was 2k, because I got partnered uh, on October 31st, and I was around 2k. I wasn't super high then, and here we are, December 1st, and I am over 4k. Like, that is absolutely insane. insane. Yeah. But, but, um... First, let me quickly shout out and say, guys, uh, down in the YouTube link, and of course, as you guys always see, we have Mixer, and we also have the YouTube chats. Now, uh, we do have an amazing, amazing, amazing giveaway going on, and I hope you guys go and check it out. The Console Corner has partnered up with Chicken, who a lot of you guys know from uh, Twitter. Uh, we have partnered up with him to give away an Xbox One X to one lucky United States gamer. So make sure you guys check out the links. Like I said, uh, I just dropped one link in the uh, Mixer chat. And you can find the link below in the uh, YouTube. Description. Yes, in the YouTube, guys. Um, also, if you're a PlayStation gamer, you know, this isn't just for Xbox gamers, guys. If you're a PlayStation gamer... Uh, Radio Basement also is partnered up with Chicken to give away a PlayStation 4, which is why you saw PlayStation footage in the video. So make sure you guys go and check that out. I don't have the links to their giveaway, sadly, but if you go and check out their Twitter, you will be able to find it. So, Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you go to Chicken Spaghetti's uh, Twitter, he'll have all of them together. That is pretty awesome, actually. The it Xbox is. One it is giveaway really for awesome. Christmas. Heck yeah! I definitely um, agree. I am super excited, you know. Who doesn't want a free Xbox One X, guys? One lucky winner. Let's do this. Let's do this. But uh, overall, you know, I'm just kind of enjoying just hanging out and spending time with all you guys. It's awesome being able to stream and all that. Uh, you know, I've loved having the partnership and all that kind of stuff. And uh, Yeah, congratulations. Do... You've been hanging out in the dashboard and you got your... You, you got 4K. I think that's awesome. 
So yeah, congrats. Which, uh, we're going to, obviously, I'm going to do a horrible, horrible plug. Well, not a horrible plug, but a shameless plug on my end. Uh, make sure you guys go and check out Evil Energy as well. Uh, I got sponsored by them recently. So... Oh, yeah, it's I actually now. Yeah, I, I know asked you had a them. Code it was to kinda, get like a sale. I so know. that's pretty cool. It was kind of funny cuz I was like, "Oh, so uh I've been asked because, you know, the way I promote it, I actually drink it for anybody who watches. I actually drink the Evil Energy on stream. Uh so you can actually see that I actually like it. I do drink it and I won't promote something that I don't agree with. And so I had yeah. someone ask me, they're like, oh, are you are you being forced to do this? You know, are you actually sponsored by them? One, I'm not forced to do anything. But yes, I can officially say I am sponsored by Evil Energy. And that is why you do see me drink that energy drink and only that energy drink on my streams. Plus, because I really like the uh. taste of it. It is actually really good. Oh, wow. Nice. As long as you like it, actually, that is actually pretty good. I like the fact that <laughs> I can, get like carry it you know how like um i know we're not really really talking much about <laughs> i know we're not talking about the topics guys it's all good we're catching up it's exactly fine. exactly we're catching <laughs> up guys it's been a couple weeks so um uh what is this oh hey look check it out okay so uh as you guys can see in the mixer chat right now uh we have evil energy we have chris who is the founder of evil energy which is absolutely awesome uh, nice. Super glad to have you here. Absolutely. And like I said, guys, um, one thing that I actually love about Evil Energy, well, uh, before, you know, kind of jumped into that, was um, you can actually carry these. You know how, like, when you get G Fuel or you get, um, what was the other one I tried? I tried um, C4. C4, I think it was. Yeah. yeah, I remember that one. So, like, I, okay, so the thing about those is they come in containers. And when you're, like, mm -hmm. on the go or something, it, it's a little hard to, obviously, like, s take a whole thing of that and just stick it in your purse and go. But Evil <laughs> Energy actually comes in, like, little packages, so you just grab one and you just go. And then, like, you just buy a water bottle while you're out if you don't have one. And you just... Nice. You're, you're Convenience. Good to go. It is. Heck it yeah. really is. But, hey, hook me up with some of that, guys. I see you I in know, the chat. I up? know. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I got my girl here. But, <laughs> well, we're, we're, yeah, we're, we're mooching. I like it's convenience. Okay. Convenience <laughs> works. And I like it. I love the ingredients, too. That is definitely one thing that I do love about Evil Energy is the ingredients. It's got AccuBerry. That is one of the main oh. things I look in for because uh, it helps, like, against cancers and all that kind of stuff. It's actually really good for your system. So I was like, what? It's got, like, 300 uh, milligrams of uh, caffeine, though. I think it's, like, three cups of coffee. When me and GKB yeah, were trying to figure wired. it out, I'm like, oh my god, I can be wired. Wired, wired, wired. It's crazy. <laughs> but, like I said, guys, uh, I was just, uh, I just wanted to point out that, you know, people have asked me about that. And yes, I do actually drink it on stream. I've proved it. You know, I've actually had the cup where it's sitting here and I pour it in and you can actually see me drinking it. Um... Because, hey, I, like I said, I won't promote something that I don't agree with and something that I don't actually use or drink or eat or anything. And I do. I, I do drink Evil Energy and all that fun stuff. So, Oh, nice. Uh, what you is dropped this? an email in there. Oh, look at that. There you guys go. So uh, Chris from Evil Energy says, Anyone that lives in the United States that would like to try Evil Energy, email him uh, yeah, your samples. address. And he'll personally send you a package on him at, it's chris at evilenergy.com. I'll awesome. have to uh, send you that link, early so that you can, <laughs> so you can email him. <laughs> All I gotta do is watch the stream again and grab that email. Yeah, everyone can see it because we have both chats. Like, that is one of the absolute amazing things that I love with our new setup, is that you guys can actually see the Mixer chat and you can see the uh, YouTube chat in any replays. So, that is also amazing as well. So, so, um, <laughs> fuck. So, yeah, besides that. What have you been I'll, up to? I'll mention, <laughs> yeah, I, well, <laughs> besides that, I'll mention a couple things. Well, uh, last time we streamed Call of Duty, that was really fun. Mm -hmm. Um, I actually hit 300 subscribe, uh, not subscribers, 300 followers on here on Mixer. So, that was really cool. And I recently hit a, also another milestone on my YouTube channel because I started making videos again. Yes. So, I hit, like. 200 and some 
over there. So that's really, really cool. So yes, yeah, followed me on Mixer and subscribed on my YouTube. I really appreciate that. And yeah, like I said, I started making videos again. So I've done three so far. One of them was the Call of Duty stream, which you forgot to put your audio. It's okay, though. I forgive you. I forgot to put but, my um... audio? Yep, yep, yep. I'm it's, so it's horrible. Fine, like, they need to have that where it's just automatic, so I don't have to, like... Because, like, while I'm streaming, it's I'm an Xbox thinking... thing. I know, I know. But I wish it would be, like, automatic, and then you have to, like, take it off if you don't want your audio. <laughs> that would be <laughs> yeah. so much more convenient. No, oh but it's all God. good, though, because I forgot as well, because I just started streaming again with you, so since I don't stream as often, it didn't, like, cross my mind to mention it while we were streaming, but it was still fun. We still had fun gaming on Call of Duty on there, so that was really cool. If you guys want to see that, I have the gameplay. Obviously, it's just my, like, audio and my gameplay, but either way, like, She-Wolf was there in spirit. <laughs> I was. Oh, I yeah. was there. If you guys want to catch mine, you can actually go to, um... She got VODs on here. Yeah, and they last for, like, 90 days now. They do. <laughs> You're botting. If it, if for me, I think it's like... Oh, really? Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good. But, but yeah. It, it's Let's like, get started. It does, it does. It's crazy, though. They, like, they actually last for a really long time now, so I'm like, what? But I think mine lasts for like 30 days and that's it. For what? When you stream on Mixer? Mm -hmm. No, it's 14 days. If you're not uh if you're not partnered, it's 14 days. Oh really? Yeah. I thought it was a little bit longer. Nah, it's only 14 days. It was one of the things that I was like, oh, that kind of sucks. But, but, all right, guys, let's get into the topics that I'm sure you guys are all kind of waiting to hear. And, uh, so, one of the things that I thought was kind of funny was there was, uh, an article that went out that Destiny 2 is now gonna have Amazon elect- ele uh, 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 let's see if we can talk. <laughs> Hello. Welcome, everybody. I can't talk today. I can't- <laughs> What was that? I have no idea. I can't even say the- That was the too funny. I know. Wow. So- so yeah, the Echo, the Alexa. Yes, mm -hmm. the Alexa, the Echo. What like what is the like? Okay, first off, I'm glad they're getting like they're putting in different things, uh, for voice commands. Like they do say like uh, Destiny Two now has hands free voice command features thanks to Amazon Alexa. Uh, I still can't say her name. Wow. You said it like a second ago, Alexa. I, know. I believe in you. You can Alexa, do this. Alexa, 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 go. Alexa. I have no idea why. I can't. But anyways, uh, as a personal assistant, uh, a new skill for Amazon device will let players who own the Alexa. Bleh, I still can't say her fucking name. One. Oh, language. Sorry. <laughs> okay, compatible devices uh, the... uh, issue voice commands to their own ghosts to ask the little guy about Destiny lore. Send message to friends and equip items. Okay, so <laughs> let's narrow down all everything that you just said. Okay, so Destiny 2 is partnering with Amazon, right? Yes. And you could do Destiny-related things while you're playing and also talk to that device, the yes. Echo device. Um, and yes, you could call it either or. Alexa or Echo, that's up to you. You could like change that in the settings, from what I know. But well, it's it is a special. It's not Echo. Uh, apparently, so uh, the voice commands will. Uh, you can say, um, Alexa, uh, do this, or Alexa, ask Ghost, or Alexa, tell Ghost this. Like you can. Um, no, I know, but like what I was gonna say was there's there's an extra skill or whatever for the Echo. The current device, so the either the dot or the giant speaker one or the plus, because they have different like echo devices yeah, different now that sizes. you could use. So okay, if if you already have this, all you have to do is download that Destiny app or that Ghost Skill um, app, and you could actually use it already. I think it's in beta right now because it's not. It's the actual thing is not out yet. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's officially out on December. December 19, I believe. So they have they have the app, so you could test it out right now. And yeah, it's pretty cool because you could do like you could ask it to tell your ghost things. But I just feel like it's way too long, like because you have to say her name, then you have to say ask ghost to do this. 
So I feel like, oh, okay. This is actually pretty cool for people that already own the device. But yeah. I wouldn't buy the, the device just because it's linked with Destiny, to be honest. Plus, this is an Activision thing, not a Bungie thing. Activision is the one that made this ha uh, like possible. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I, you could take it in two ways. You could say it's a really cool feature for hardcore Destiny players, right? Or you could say it's just a gimmick to make some extra money, to be honest. I definitely think because... it's interesting, more or less, just because they're taking the technology from two completely, utterly different things and putting them together. I do think that is cool because it's kind of bringing right. the whole AI more to life. Um, they also say like that uh, the skill will add more than a thousand custom voice lines mm -hmm. from Nolan North. Ugh, God. Please give me mm -hmm. Dingle Dork back. I would be <laughs> so much happier with Dingle Dork. I know it's single bot, but... Um, either way, like, I really wish that they would actually bring him, like, his voice back. But, uh, so, what they're pretty much saying is, like, you could go and, um, you can have, uh, for instance, where is it? There's one here that, uh, they actually use as a reference. They say, uh, Electra, uh, tell Ghost to save this as my Crucible loadout. Uh, then mm -hmm. before jumping into the Crucible, uh, you say switch to my Crucible loadout. So... Again, I tell, I'm telling you, so it's just, I don't know, it sounds cool, but again, it's a gimmick because you gotta say all that. Yeah. Instead of doing it yourself, you're already playing, but yet you have to say, Alexa, tell Ghost to switch to my Crucible loadout. Or you could say Raid loadout or Strike loadout, right? Um, yeah, but you could I, even... I guess, it, you know, truthfully, it almost kind of feels like it's like the Xbox commands. Like, you know how when you go, uh, Xbox what friends are online, or Xbox, send my friend this message, or something. It it's kind of feels like they took that form of approach, because you can actually say, like, uh, Electra, uh, ask Ghost who is in, uh, wait, who in my clan is online? Uh, ask mm -hmm. Ghost for clan updates. Like, there's a lot of other types of commands that you can ask, but it's yeah. kind of like, this feels Some a lot of them like are really Xbox. cool, but others just sound like I don't know why that's even... Like, to say, um, Alexa, tell Ghost to equip my most powerful weapon, or whatever, mm -hmm. weapons, or, or if you want specific, I think you have to say, like, which one, heavy weapon, or whatever the case may be. I mean, some of those is just kind of like, oh, wow, that's just pure... It sounds lazy, but then there's other times, like like you said, to so you can see your clan, or hear your clan stats, which they actually say your clan stats, mm -hmm. and they'll let you know how many of your friends are online. Like, some of that stuff is cool, right? So I can see some benefits to that, yeah. but to buy an Echo a device for this, no. If you already have one, and you're a huge Destiny fan, sure, why not? That's... uh. That's a cool extra feature to have if you ever want to do that. And yeah, we do have that on Xbox where we could say, uh, we could tell Cortana to do this or yeah. that for us or send a message. Even though she half listens and says whatever she wants to say, um, it's still like, it is part of that feature. And it's cool that we get to see different th stuff like this being implemented, to be honest. Especially now that they're linked with games. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. And, uh, so to make the tech feel a bit more authentic, Amazon and Bungie are releasing a limited edition Alexa device compatible ghost, uh, Wi-Fi speaker in December. Mm. So the device needs to be paired with Alexa device like an Amazon <laughs> Echo. So you can get the cool looking speaker, but you still have to have an Amazon Echo. So there you is know how much that speaker the... costs? Uh, let's see. I can actually pull it up right now. I don't even think I want to know how much this thing costs. Eighty nine dollars. Like... It is kind of cool yeah. looking though. Mm. It is. It's just it's like kind of cool looking. It's I, like... I know. I know you read it, and they said Bungie, but it's not Bungie. It's Activision. Activision is doing this. They want that extra money. I'm sorry. I don't like this. Of course okay, the whole wants the whole money. Echo thing with the app. Linking to Destiny 2, that's cool. The whole, hey, oh, you could also buy a, a separate speaker that looks like a ghost. It's like, really? You don't need to do all this. It is, it's not it, necessary. I, I, I'll give it this, guys. It does actually kind of <sighs> look cool. 
It does mm. kind of look cool. Like the ghost. It dogs, only I works, wish they would but you have to have the echo more. for that speaker to work. Well, yeah. You can't use the speaker by itself. Which, it's still which, dumb. which, for anybody, if by some weird chance you would like one, the echoes are actually on sale right now. You can get the Echo Dot for like twenty nine bucks on Amazon right now. Mm -hmm. Yep, so. actually, it is on sale for thirty. So I looked just, that up first. Well, yeah, uh, we bought one for uh, GKB's dad. So yeah, no. That, <laughs> if you want to buy it. If you want to buy an Echo for 30 yes, that's pretty cool. But I yeah. already have a Google Home, so I don't really care to do yeah. this. Just because of Destiny, you know what I mean? Especially the fact that I don't even hardly play it anymore. That's true. This is just like for the really hardcore fan, to be honest. It's for people who just like neat little loot stuff. Like, that. that's what it all comes down to. And yes... It's a collectible, guys. like, because it's a limited time offer for that extra wireless speaker that looks like a ghost and has lights and yeah. whatever. Um, that's pretty cool, again. But for 90 only if you have money to spare and you're a true hardcore, like, Destiny fan, I guess that'll exactly. be okay. Exactly. Exactly. And yes, uh, me and the word Alexa just do not go good together. <laughs> With my, like, I have, um... Um, dyslexia, and yeah, that that name just does not work with me. <laughs> so bear with me, bear with me. I, you know, I finally got it out. Alexa, we got it out. But anyways, um, because of course, Timonas making fun of me as always. Oh uh, boy, if you don't go to bed, I'm sorry. But anyway, uh, I think it's interesting overall, yeah. right? It's a cool feature to have. But exactly. um, for me, when, once I see Activision's name on it, I'm like, nah, nah, nah. You just Use one extra money. Fuck that. Well, it does. The description in Amazon actually says Bungie as well, though. So where did you hear that Bungie is not actually part of it? Well, they they are part of it because it's their game, but it's um Activision who's driving it. It was like oh, you so know it was their, like their idea. idea. It's their money oh. to back it and all that stuff. But of course, Bungie signed on it. It is their game. They have to agree to the terms as well. Hmm. But um, if you see like who's selling it on on Amazon right now, it says Activision. Yeah. But, okay. Uh, so, moving on, because yeah. I'm sure you guys mm -hmm, mm -hmm. kind of heard enough about Alexa and Destiny 2 and all that fun, crazy, stupid, if you're <laughs> big into, obviously, Destiny 2. I don't even play the game anymore, but it's okay. Um, alright. So, uh, one thing that I do uh, want to get into, which we're going to have a little fun thing play in the background while we talk about this. Uh, Arrow, uh, actually, um, we got this awesome message from uh, Madfellow Games, uh, what was it, last week? Um, I think either a week or a week and a half, but yeah. Uh, so they're getting some new updates, which look pretty freaking awesome pretty awesome um they're getting three new ships uh that have been created to give players the option of a new look while riding the ribbons now one i think the ships look actually really cool i like the yeah the new one you, you talk about the new dlc ships yeah oh so nice yeah, yeah yeah yes yes this is true i like the new look of the ships they look awesome yeah, like, so, okay, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, Arrow is, um, one, one, Fox actually l really likes this game. She, uh, she plays <laughs> this game a lot, actually. Um, yep. I actually, this game is so addictive, I have to say. Like, it's one of the most addictive games that I've actually come across, and, uh, Arrow is a speed through stunning, stylish trace ribbon of light releasing energy in music. Now, this whole game is based on literally you listen to music and you're riding this ribbon and you have to actually try to stay on it the best that you absolutely can. And in the process, you obviously gain levels and you get to see uh, different bosses and all that kind of stuff. There's actually quite a few um, different uh, epic boss fights that you get to do. And the soundtrack is absolutely amazing on this game. Like, absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. That's one of the best parts. I love the music. I love music-based games like this where you either... Um... Listen to music and you go with the rhythm 
to try to get through the level, or you just try to survive while the music is playing, which other games have done that as well. So I really like that as well. But um, it was uh, Scrotum who actually got this game for me, and I really liked it when it first came out. And now I love it even more. And it's really cool that uh, the developers have been in contact with us on here since we've talked about this game before mm -hmm. on another episode. And, and now that they have new DLC, they, they sent it our way. And they have like two new trailers, one showing off the three new ships, which is really awesome. And then another trailer that you could, I just could find it in their YouTube channel as well as seeing it here in the background. But um, yeah, then they got the new tracks and you could like listen to the new tracks. And I think that's three new tracks as well, yep. which is really awesome from the new DLC that's coming out. Um, they, I believe they, they're aiming for uh, like this month to release it. I don't think they have an official date yet, but they said they did want to release it before the year was over. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I think it's really awesome. I like the new songs. I've heard them. And I think they got them from a specific... I think they're all from one person, right? Uh... From 100 Days Wasted. They're all yes. from that yes. um, artist. It's a 1,000 uh, so Days think... Wasted uh, drum and bass pack. Oh, 1,000? I said 100. Yeah, yeah it's 1,000. <laughs> yeah, 1,000. Uh, but yeah, that's really cool. And that's going to be fi uh, 5 bucks, I believe, when it comes out. And the new tracks, the new three songs, is going to come with Achievos. So if you guys want some extra achievements as well, that's going to be available when that comes out, which is really cool. And and the ships is optional. Uh, you can buy them individually for like 99 cents each, I think. Yes. And um, you have like three different ships to, to choose from, which is really cool because they're just skins. It's not like that one ship is going to be better than the other ship. I think they're all the same. You yeah. just like... They look differently either way. They look really cool. Which, uh, so what was kind of cool that, uh, we got to read in, um, the, not, I guess it's not really an article, but the document that they sent us, uh, mm -hmm. there was three names that were chosen, which was actually from the community of Twitter. They went with oh, yeah, Soul, the names Comet, of the ships and Phaser. Yes. Which I thought was really awesome that they did that, that, you know, they went to Twitter and got the names, um... I actually, yeah, the community got yeah. to vote on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh, I think Comet was one of the ones I voted for. Nice. I like Comet. I like, I don't know why. I don't know why. It's kind of like the whole Echo thing, but, uh, so <laughs> Yeah, Soul, Comet, Phaser. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, they'll be priced, uh, like Fox said, at 99 cents each, which is really not bad. It really is no, bad. No, not at There's all. There's a lot of cool levels that you can go through um with this game and again it's it's replayable especially if you like the music and you're one of those type of people that like to listen to you know songs over and over again and don't you know what i mean this mm -hmm. gives you that option and you can sit there and do something while you're listening to the music it's really cool and of course it gets so addictive because you're at the point where you're constantly trying to better yourself on the track to actually come like a hundred percent it's it's crazy but there will be new yeah. achievements, there will be new trophies Yep. that you'll be able to very, grab, and yeah. Very challenging. Again, I listen to the new songs, they like, they, they sound awesome, they so do. I can't wait to play them in the game as well. Um, I believe one of, well, I, one of them is called Rage, and I was like, wow, that might be a really tough song to play, <laughs> just because it's called Rage. Yeah. And they have, like, The Sickness, yes. I believe that one's called. Yep. And what was the other one? I'm trying to see my notes. Um, it's like dissonance constant. I yes. think that's what it's called. Yes. Uh, uh yeah. So really cool. Can't wait to get that. Hopefully, it comes out this month because I'll definitely well, it does pick say that up. The end of 2017. So we can hope that it comes out at the end of December because hey, let's yeah. see it. We want to play it. <laughs> we yes. want to try it. Oh, yeah, and I want to support the devs because they're really, really cool. And they're always talking on Twitter with everyone. They're, they're always communicating. They sent us DMs and whatnot. And I think that's really nice of them to do that. So I really want to support them, um, especially now that they're self-publishing. Yes. So you saw that in the documents as well. That's yeah, really so cool. I was going to point that so, out, but you already did that. So Yay, I got it first. Breaking news coming from Fox. No, yes, it is. Um, <laughs> So a but yeah, it's really bit, cool. A little bit about Mad Fellows. Um, Mad Fellows is an independent micro studio founded in 2013 by Paul and Dan. Um, 
There are industry veterans who have been developing high-profile video games since 2001. Uh, they have Ooh. had experience uh, in console development, having worked on hit... F um, uh, what is this? Uh, they've worked on games of Guitar Hero, DJ Hero, uh, Colin Ray, and they've also worked on Race Driver and many more. So I knew about the Guitar Hero games and the DJ yeah. Hero. I knew about that. Which, the, obviously, anyone who really knows this game, you would clearly think right off the bat Guitar Hero because of, the, you know, the way that it is. Except, obviously, it's not, you're not hitting keys or anything like that, but mm -hmm. you definitely get that feel, and it was really awesome. And, yeah, please, guys, go give, you know, go give them a follow. You can follow them on Twitter at, uh, at MadFellowGames. Um, go give them a follow, guys. They are absolutely amazing developers and deserve the support. So Yes, and I'm proud of them for doing the self-publishing thing, which apparently was really, really difficult to do. Um, but there's a reason why they haven't been on the PlayStation Store because of this, you know, the whole process that they're going through, and they had to change a lot of stuff. But they, they will be back in the PlayStation Store in January, and they will have all the DLC and all that available in the store again, in case you couldn't get the game before yep. uh, on the PlayStation side. But it's still available on Xbox right now. I just I went to look, uh, was it yesterday, and I didn't see any DLC yet, and I was like, come on, I need a date. I know, we do need a date, we do need a date, but it, it's just, it's really awesome, guys, so make sure yeah. that if you guys have Check them out on Twitter, out. check the, the videos out on YouTube, if you want to see them again, so yeah. Agree. So, that is, obviously, like we say, guys, it's Arrow, so, coming with Tews with new DLC, sometime, hopefully, very soon. <laughs> I'll probably I'll be streaming it once it actually releases so that you guys can check it out on um on Mixer and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I am super thrilled. Super thrilled. Um all right, so moving on, we're gonna jump into some more games actually, which we're gonna do Xbox Live versus PlayStation Plus. Are we excited? <laughs> Are we not excited? Free games? Hell yeah, free I'm excited. Games. Who doesn't want free games? Um Exactly. But yes, so Games of Gold, we are actually being given uh, Vermtide, Back to the Future, uh, Child of Eden, and... Uh, hold on, I gotta... Marlo find... Briggs. Oh, okay, that's the fourth one? I was looking for yep. it. I'm like, wait, where's the fourth one? Um, <laughs> yep. So, Warhammer is $40. I have this game. I actually own this game already. This mm -hmm. is an interesting game. Um, There's rats in it, girl. There is girl, a lot of rats. Did you know? There's a lot of rats. <laughs> it's definitely one that, you know, um, okay, so this game is really interesting, but at the same time, it takes, you have to like that play style. Like, really like that play style. Cause it's it, like it, a first person RPG kind yeah. of thing, right? Yeah, but it's kind of weird because apparently it has a campaign, but we could never find the campaign. I don't know. It... It's all online, from what I know. You have to play online. No, no, I know, like, but it was apparently... So, okay, when we first got the game, uh, we got it before it released, and it was supposed to have a campaign, and they told us it had a campaign, and we looked for the campaign, but then there was never any campaign, and then it just comes out saying that, oh, well, we're just going to... It was really confusing. We were like, what? Wait, what? But overall, like, it's an interesting game. You do get some pretty cool skills. Um, you have, like, the... I think there's, like, um, a wizard, an assassin. Um, there's two other ones. I can't think of what they are. But overall, it's not a bad game. And it's free. It's a $40 game for free. So overall, I guess that's, like... That's good. Try yeah. it. If you don't <laughs> like it, uninstall it. You'll always have it. <laughs> That's one way to look at wow, it. Wow, you made this game sound so appealing right now. <laughs> I, I was always on the fence about this game. Like, I played it. I played a lot of it uh, when it first came out. Like, when we first got it to try to, like, actually get a feel for it. And, I don't know, there's just something that just, like, I'm going to be honest. I'll be honest with everyone. I'm not going to lie and say, oh my god, it was the greatest game in the world. Yeah. Whoa. Well, I don't know about all that. But it, okay. it was kind of, I don't know, there was just something about it. 
Uh, back. It was a, a weird, unique. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was gonna jump in with my thoughts. Let's go. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> it's it's a it's a weird, unique kind of game, but it's very like niche. And you're right. You have to like that play style to enjoy it, I guess. But free is better than paying forty bucks for it, which exactly. I believe that's what you said was the mm -hmm. price. Um, Tim got it like when it was on sale sometime, and then we played it co-op once, and then that was the end of it. Haven't played it since. I don't <laughs> know what happened. <laughs> See. So oh, yeah, Tim Doss oh. says it's fun though. Mm-hmm. But you've never because I was there. Game. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely. Because I was there. It was friends. fun. Playing it alone isn't really all that great. I played it alone. We need. We need more people to play because I think you could do four player co-op, right? I From what so, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so if it's just more. me and him and it was like it was okay and it was fun at the time, but we didn't go back. Maybe if we had more people it would be better. So yeah. I played I it know. by myself and it wasn't very like I got bored of it pretty quick. Oop, don't saying. play it by yourself, guys. There you go. Just saying. Uh next up we have is back to the future. This is a Telltale game. game. Have you tried this game? Have you played this game? I have not played yeah. the Back to the Future games. Okay, so, I played this game back when it was on PS3, and it was a PS3 exclusive, I believe it was, and um, I played, like, the first episode, and I thought it was awesome, but it is janky as hell. <laughs> it is super janky and super laggy, so oh, if you don't mind really? if you don't mind that, then enjoy, um, but this is the thing. This is, like, a better version of it, because um, I, I guess they kind of, like, not remastered it, but, like, Updated cleaned it up it? a bit yeah updated it cleaned it up patched it whatever uh and this is like really cool because it's a different story from the movies mm -hmm. so it's like a new adventure right so it's not like you're repeating what you already seen in the movies if you enjoy back to the future and you play this which heck yeah it's a free game and you want some achievos it's worth it definitely that's always a good way to look at it it's just kind yeah. of funny that it's from telltale games I love Telltale games, and this is the thing. You know how like Xbox always gives us Telltale games. You mm -hmm. notice that? Yeah, they so, do. So like to be to be honest, if you guys are not like like I'm talking to you, She Wolf. If you're not a true fan of Telltale games, you wow. might as well wait until. Wow. <laughs> wait, I wait. Let once. me finish. <laughs> let you might as well wait until they give you all the Telltale games for free with games with gold because they're always giving them out. So you don't have to buy the Batman games. To be honest, they probably give them out later on. Like, you know, a couple months or something like that. I'm just saying, there's wow. no point of you guys buying Telltale games if you're gonna hate on them, okay? I'm just I have never honest. hated on any hmm. of the Telltale games. Hold on, hold on, hmm. hold on. I have never hated on I don't know, I got receipts. You know, I got receipts, I said I'll otherwise. Let, let's see this. I would love to see this because, sorry to tell you, but I have never hated on the Telltale hmm. games. Okay. I just, there's just some of them that are kind of boring to the point where I would just let it play and I'd go do something else. But I didn't mm -hmm. hate on them. And I like mm -hmm. the Batman mm -hmm. ones. So you can just kiss my butt. Wow, okay. So, don't do there. that. Don't, don't, don't throw some. Okay, so anyway, besides that, <laughs> um, the Batman games, I know those are your favorite. That's why I pointed them out specifically. But I meant like the other games. To be honest, like The Walking Dead, uh, you know, Tales of the Borderland, which we had last month, obviously. And now this one, um, yeah, they've given us some other ones as well. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's really cool for free achievements, especially if you're not a big fan of Telltale games. But uh, <clears throat> I still think you've hated on them before. I'm just saying. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna play. I'm gonna look for those videos. On. You do that. I would love to see them. You already know the main game that I hate on. I don't even have like to hide everything. it. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. She... Garbage. Yeah, my, my Garbage. favorite game of all time. We are officially no longer friends. Anyways, Yeah, goodbye. you can't say that. We're done. Not for a game. We're over. You, goodbye. You're gonna ruin our friendship a for a night. game? Oh have my night, god. Goodbye. Well, I'll see you some <laughs> time. But, uh, so... She's going to bed. Uh, what? Why do I go to bed? <laughs> you said goodnight. Well, yeah. Okay, I guess I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah, but, no. Anyways, uh, so another game that's on uh, the uh, Xbox Games Gold is Child of Eden. So mm -hmm. uh, Have you ever played this? No, I haven't, but I'm looking oh, at the okay. images and stuff. Uh, I guess uh, the game on demand version supports English, French, Italian, German, Spanish. One of the most accepted games in 2011 for Connect. 
Uh, mm. Winner mm-hmm. of nine awards at E3. Child of Eden is the multi-sensor shooter that will send players diving into a visual matrix of music and mind-blowing visuals. Uh, it yep. will... So is this kind of like Arrow? Yeah, in a way. I was going to say that. I was going to say, like, is that what this is? is it's it... kind of like Arrow, but it's not because you know how Arrow, you could shoot enemies and like um, listen to the music while you're on rails or like little tracks. It's not like that. It's a bit different, but it's similar because there is music and sound effects and stuff. Um, and I think you can shoot a little bit like to make the noise come out, but I don't think there's like enemies or anything like that or well, boss this is battles. Still the connect version, so like the, uh, well, you could use it either way. Like at the time, it was promoted as a connect game, but yeah. you could also play it with your control, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, it's a rhythm based music style kind of game as well. Like I think like Res, a lot of people compared it to Res at the time. So that yeah, is true. It's just kind of it's kind of funny though because. We're seeing Connect I think games. kids would like it. I want it. to see them bring Connect Malls back. Bring Connect I don't Malls th- <laughs> backwards compatible. Wait, Let's unless you could play that with the control, they can't do that. Well, why not? <laughs> Techn- I don't see why. Well, because I'm, the well, camera is well, yeah, not compatible. That's why. Wait, what? But you I, can have the Connect on your S. You just had to get the uh, the piece for it. No, the the first Connect. You know, the Connect 1.0. That one is not compatible with the Xbox One. Well, what's the so, matter? This one was a Kinect game, and they're promoting. No, it was. Like, I don't care. Shush. <laughs> it, you You're can play with the sense. control. <laughs> so, I'm just okay. saying they could still right. bring the other one. They could. Still All right. Bring well, bring Connectables. She Wolf wants it. I'll sign the petition. Not really. I would probably never play it, but I for the kids, kids, I mean, for the kids. It. Of kids course, I know it. what you meant. I know. Plus, I think really that they much. would like this. I think that they would like this game right here. So. It's Child just tech- well, yeah. I'm definitely gonna get them this game and see what they like. Especially um, my nine year old. She'll go. She'll go crazy. Mm-hmm. She loves these kind of things. So, mm-hmm. but anyways, anyways. So uh, next up we have is um, Marlo Briggs, uh, the Mask of the Death. Now I haven't played this one either. It's an arcade game. Um. <laughs> hmm. So, yeah. Uh, well. When we talked about it on Xbox Nation, uh, I don't think anybody knew what this game was. And I I was the only one that was like, oh yeah, it's like a hack and slash, like comic book style kind of game, like an action game. But like nobody I know has ever played it. But there are some people in the community that has since yeah. jumped on, on Twitter and has told me stuff like, oh, like, oh, I, this is a really good game. I played it. It's actually really awesome. It was like, like underrated. So I'm looking forward to checking it out, actually. Uh, so, uh, the description says that, uh, a new breed of warriors return committed to destroy the enemies of freedom. Uh, no-nonsense hero Marlo never slides away from danger or trouble, but now he faces his ultimate challenge. Don't they always end up facing their ultimate challenge? Mm Mm-hmm. Anyways. Uh, Blasting into Central America, he has an individual evil to defeat... Uh, bound to an ancient Mayan death mask? Really? Who's had <laughs> no one to talk to for 2,000 years? So, in other words, you're just going to go after someone who's just completely being crazy? Sure. Mm. Uh, with cliffhanger over-the-top action and cinema gameplay, Marlo Briggs takes... Uh, inspiration from the best of the blockbuster films, comic book heroes, and action games with focus of uh, relentless, high uh, combat, uh, danger-fulfilled environments, and epic set pieces. And exotics. So, hmm. It's taking... So, does it sound interesting to you? I'm just wondering. I don't know, like... (laughs) <laughs> she sounds confused. <laughs> well, because, like, which comic book heroes? I like some, and I don't like others. So, it depends which True. Ones. Blockbuster films. Which blockbuster films? Because there's a lot of them I don't like, and then there's a lot of them I do like. 
So <laughs> it could like it does seem interesting. The thing is, again, it's still an arcade game. And if you like, if you go and check out the graphics on it, there's just so many other games that I probably would rather play, like Evil Within Two. I still need to beat Wolfenstein Two. Oh, what? You haven't be... finished that? Wow, no, I'm surprised. Well, no, I've had like I've been playing Call of Duty and true, true, true. Star Wars and stuff like Star that. Star Wars, uh, like yeah, I stream right. and then I don't want to play any other game for the rest of the day because I just sat there for like five hours on a game. <laughs> So yeah, um, but I think it's a it's a cool. I mean, the fact that it's free, obvi- I, I'm gonna say that for everything. The fact that all these are free, yeah, I'm gonna try them and enjoy them. If I don't like them, that's it. I'm just gonna leave it in my you know uninstalled whatever list thingy. But um, yeah, like I said, some people have mentioned that it's really good, so I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna check it out. We'll see. I don't know because I never heard of this before at all from anybody. I'll download it. So, yeah. I probably just won't play it anytime soon, but I'll download it and then I'll think about mm-hmm. it because, like Fox said, they're free guys. You can't go wrong with like getting free games, regardless. So, uh, speaking of free games, uh, I know we have a lot of Xbox gamers that hang out, but a lot of you Xbox gamers also still have a PlayStation, even if you won't completely admit it. <laughs> um. <laughs> so. <laughs> I am just in one of those moods. I'm sorry. I still love all you I l- guys. I-, I love your moods. Go on. Anyways, uh, so December 2017, free PlayStation Plus games. We have Darksiders 2. Now, this is an absolutely awesome game. Uh, it is really cool that they are releasing this game for free. Because mm-hmm. uh, we actually have this game on Xbox, though. Uh, mm-hmm. So... Uh, Darksiders 2 is definitely one that I would recommend for anybody if you have a PlayStation to pick it up because it is a great game. Even if you don't play it right away, it's still a really cool game. Uh, Then you have Formula 8. No idea what that is. No idea. Mm, I'm going to have to look it up. Some indie game. I'm assuming so. I'm going to have to look it up, um, guys. Go ahead. And uh, the the Darksiders 2 is the definitive version or the death definitive version of that. So you do get all the DLC and all that good stuff, which is really cool. Because yeah. when I got this game for free on Xbox, it was the 360 version. So I don't have all the DLC and, and, and all that. So on the PS4, you'll have all that good stuff. And it, it is the remastered version. So check that out. Which oh, I think a lot of people know what it is. Oh, game. Oh. She's looking at that Vita game. Formula 8? It's not a Vita game. It's in Actually, the... it's on both. Yeah, I was going to say, it's it's on the PlayStation 4 one as well, though. Oh, yeah, it is in both categories. Um, <laughs> it's still a cute game, I got though. You. Like, this is actually still a cute game. It reminds me of, um, not Angry Birds, but it has, like, a limbo kind of feel, but with, oh, okay. um... Oh my god, what is those? I'm trying to think of what those games... It has, like, okay, so it kind of has, like, a Limbo and an Ori kind of feel. Like, it has that style of, like, gameplay. So it's a side-scroller. Yes, it is. And uh-huh. it has really cute... And it has, like... it's uh, The background is, like, really colorful, but then, the like, the main front of it is all done in black. Oh, interesting. It's actually a really cute game. I would actually play it if I had... The way you described that reminded me of Hugh. Yeah, well, other than uh, Hugh actually has, like, um, no color to color, this one has, like, a lot of color in the background, but the front uh, mm-hmm. standard base of it, where your character goes, is all black. Yeah, so I'm guessing it's like a little platformer side-scrolling thing. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, it, it reminds me a lot of Ori. It's like a, it's a, a less designed game, but... Along the lines of Ori in the Blind Forest, if that works for anybody. That's kind of mm-hmm. probably the best way I could explain it. Just the watching the trailers and stuff of it, uh, I would definitely say that it's that kind of game. Uh, for, so Formula 8, um, again, I would just check it out, guys, if you have it, because that is actually really cool. Um, do you have any... I, obviously, you had no idea what it was either, so... No, 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 I didn't know. But yeah. it's cool. I mean, yeah. it looks... It's free. It's a little cute game, side scroller. And if you're comparing it to those type of games, or the looks wise, actually, yeah. I don't know it's... anything about the story. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, next we have is Kung Fu Panda Showdown Yay! of the Legendary Legends. Who doesn't love uh, Kung Fu Panda? Like really? 
It was just I actually awesome. I actually love the movies, so <laughs> So do I. I love the movies. Yeah. I watch them with my kids every like every year we end up watching them at least once. Yeah, they're oh my God, cute. That is so cute. And now you can play the video game. Who doesn't want what? to play the video I'm... game? I'm buying a PlayStation. Yay! I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I think it's cool. Doesn't Alpha your Panda is good for have a PlayStation. My brothers, yeah. So they, do. they can just download it and you can play it. Yeah, this is literally what I do all the time. <laughs> um, but yeah. What? Never. Me? Some days. But either way, so this is pretty awesome. Uh, you get Kung Fu Panda. Uh, and yeah. everybody, sh like, anybody who's anybody really knows. Or what Kung somebody Fu Panda that has is. kids, or I have a niece, you could download it for you them if you don't need, want it. You don't need to have kids to know who Kung, Kung Fu Panda is. I said if, if you have, you could download it for <laughs> them. Obviously, if you want trophies, sure, whatever. That's fine too. Yeah, it could have a cool story, guys. It may have a really cool I don't story. know. I never played that one. Kung I Fu only Panda played the first Kung Fu Panda. Like my first game ever. Oh my god, seriously? Scrotum, Yo! that was your very first game ever was Kung Fu Panda on 360? Same! Same, 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 same. Okay, so I got like my Xbox Elite system mm -hmm. on the 360 and it had Kung Fu Panda and I think Pure? It came with another game. It, it was two games in one box. And I played that, so that was really cool. Eventually I sold them, but... Um, yeah, I played the first Kung Fu Panda. That was really fun. I think I got all the Achievos, except for one. One oh, Achievo, so which great. I missed. Uh, that's so funny. Kung Fu Panda, everybody. <laughs> Your big, lovable panda bear. It really is. Uh, so, moving on, though, we have That's You. Uh, this is uh, uh, UK only, or overseas only. Um, so, I, I don't know if really understand how that works. Anybody like to fill me in on how that works? Wait, what are we talking about? The uh, other free game? That's you, is what it's called, but it says that it's uh, Europe only. Oh, okay, yeah, I wouldn't know about that. I mean, you could switch your account settings to Europe and then download it as well, but other than that, I don't know, i never heard of that game. Uh, so. It says that you is a 2017 party game developed by Wish Studios and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. The game is a PlayStation 4 exclusive and only available for free for PlayStation Plus subscribers. So, okay. I guess it's something brand new, guys. Except, nice. technically, you can go to the Android App Store and download it on Google Play, apparently. <laughs> so, it was nice. It was an exclusive. Not exclusive no more. I just saw that. I'm like, wait a minute. Isn't that it's, technically... It's a, it's a console exclusive. What is it? I think it's a card game. Oh no! D don't go don't bother, yeah, guys. Don't switch. Don't even switch. Game. Don't switch to Europe. It's not so, even worth okay, it. Okay, <laughs> so apparently what you do is you take pictures of like your friends, and you can put it into the game, and their faces oh are God. on the cards. All right. So, so the next game. <laughs> how it's done. So yeah. Ugh. Anyways, apparently that's that's what it is. Uh, it seems kind of interesting. Uh, so until dawn, Rush of Blood uh, is also going to be for uh, PlayStation VR. For any of you VR crap gamer, if you're listening, you'll have something yeah, to Nuka? download. New Nuka. Yeah, I, I only know those two people that have it. <laughs> I thought Mooch got it. I thought Mooch has a PlayStation VR because I thought I saw something. Oh like, yeah. He was saying something on Twitter about um giving a review about a PlayStation VR game. Yeah, I think it was this one. Something I think like he actually enjoyed this game now that I remember. So yeah, those three guys have it. So either way, there's a free game for anyone who has a PlayStation VR um, that you guys can check out, which is Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. So, Which is not scary, by the way. I've seen the gameplay. It's not scary at all. And that's something Just coming unreal. from Fox if she says it's not scary. Yeah, I, I mean, I would put that on my head and play that because it's not scary. Now, if you guys play Resident Evil in VR, that's a different story. I, I might that die. So badly. I'm gonna I have a heart play attack. That so badly. Oh my god, do I want to play that so ba badly on <laughs> VR? I would buy a VR literally just to play it on that game. Like that's one of my like all time favorite games. I believe you. My game of the year would be Resident Evil Seven. I believe you, girl. All right, but that's enough about PlayStation VR and place or. Er, 
PlayStation VR. Uh, PlayStation Plus and Games of Gold. Uh, both months, um, obviously... Again, everyone always is surprised. Like, oh my god, they're not, like, high AAA titles. But, come on, guys. They're free games. And technically, neither company has to give you any games at all. They don't really have to do it. They choose to For real. It. They could give you one and that's it. And it could be an arcade or an indie if they if wanted they to, wanted to be to. honest. Like, you pay monthly. You pay your month. Like, I know people are like, oh, well, I pay a monthly fee. You do, but that's to play online. Yeah, that's that I is play to yeah. pay for their services online. That's not to play with, you know, to get free games. Not once did it ever state in a contract that you will automatically no. It's something they do for you, and they it's add a bonus. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I I pay for membership to play online mostly. Everything else is extra stuff, which is really cool. Exactly. And but um, Ray which one do you like more? Free is free. Oh. Yes, um, yes, yes, this is true. Uh, honestly, I would probably... <laughs> okay. Don't kick me, people. But I would probably, if I had a PlayStation, go with the PlayStation ones. Oh, that's fine. You don't have to, like, worry because about what people think. Because it's Kung Fu you Panda. Like. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All about the Kung Fu Cause, Panda. Because Kung Fu Panda. It does. Um, I mean, yeah, that is very tempting. And Darksiders too. That is pretty cool too. That is a good game too. So but my vote... I do like my Telltale games, and Child of Eden is really awesome. So I'll, I'll go with the Xbox. I vote PlayStation. She votes Xbox. Xbox. So in the chat below for X or uh, for YouTube guys, for any of you guys in the YouTube after the show. Let us know, which one do you vote for? Are you going with the PlayStation games for this month, or are you going with the Xbox games for this month? And don't do it just because you're an Xbox gamer. No do cheating. it because you're an Xbox gamer. Don't- <laughs> Shush! You're not helping the cause. They're independent. They could do whatever they want. <laughs> vote because the games. We're voting for games. We're not voting for systems. Uh, vote because Xbox has back compat. Vote. <laughs> vote for me. You know what? Vote for president. You're not supposed to be, like, swaying the votes here. Why not? I miss versus. This is the only way I can get it. <laughs> oh, oh, so this is how Fox is going to get her versus. She's going to try to bribe you. Nah, nah. Bribe you. Xbox. Xbox is giving because... them the free games, not me. I'm just saying, we got back and pat. Oh, vote but Xbox. you're like, oh, vote for me. <laughs> so how are they voting for you if you're telling mm. them it's for Xbox? Mm. See, do you, do you hear this, guys? Do you hear the all of it in behind? Yeah. She's full of it. Oh, my God. Anyways. <laughs> never. Never this. Anyways. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, leave us comments below, guys. We'd love to hear about it uh, after the show on YouTube. I would say on Mixer, because obviously all you amazing people watching on Mixer as well. Uh, but there's no comment section on Mixer. Which would be a cool, a cool feature if they got Hmm, maybe. No, uh, no, probably not. If they implement it properly. Lot. Yeah, there'd be a lot of trolls. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a lot of trolls on YouTube as well, though, so... Truth True. It's not really surprising. Um, alright, so anyways, we're gonna jump into our next topic, um, before we jump into the questions, which, uh, I'm gonna, I know... Fox is really, really, really big on this, which is the original Life is Strange actresses will be returning for a special episode. Fox, mm -hmm. let's hear you fangirl out for the next oh, Wow. Minutes. Okay. <laughs> I like the way you put that. So, the original uh, Chloe Price voice actress, Ashley, <laughs> Ashley Birch, is coming back uh, to voice Chloe again. In her glorious voice acting skills. Um, but she's only going to do the voice for the bonus episode. Where she will be uh, appearing on there with the Max uh, voice actress. Um, Hannah. Um, Hannah Tilly. Um, so yeah, they're both going to be there doing uh, Chloe Price and Maxine Caulfield. Which is awesome. And that's for the bonus episode. But uh, the other actress is still going to be doing like the motion capture. The other actress that took over for her, um, I think her name was Raina. Mm -hmm. um, so she's still gonna rate the the other voice actress Raina is still gonna be doing the third episode, which is going to come out soon. But yeah, um, I'm glad that Ash 
least coming back to, to voice Chloe on the bonus episode is just nostalgic for me because I haven't heard her do the voice uh, for Chloe in a long time. So I think it's really awesome. It's uh, kind of weird, though, because she was on strike for such a long time. Um, I believe it was like 11 months. And that's why she couldn't do the voice in the beginning for, for this game uh, before the storm. Um, and I think that's like the longest strike that we've ever had in entertainment history. And it's like the first strike that we've had uh, for for the gaming industry, for voice actors, which is crazy if you think about it. Um, but either way, I'm glad that she's back. I'm glad that she's doing the voice again. It was really cool seeing her doing that video uh, on YouTube when she was talking with uh, Hannah and everything. So... I'm glad that they're working together again. I'm looking forward to playing that episode. I have no idea what is like going to happen in it, but I know that it's called Fa Farewell. I was going to um, say, isn't it kind of funny that the episode is called Farewell? Yeah. I think, I I have a feeling I know what it is, but I don't want to like give like anything away Spoilers. or like spoil any. Yeah, I don't want to do any of that because I have my own theory of what it's going to be. But either way, I'm looking forward to that third episode. Mm -hmm. which is still going to have the other voice actor actress, uh, Reina. And then uh, after that, I'm just going to be highly anticipating, which I think is coming out next year. It's not even coming out this year. That bonus episode is coming out next year. And uh, I'm glad that she has so much, um, like, she did so much for this game, even though she wasn't doing the voice in the beginning. She's done so much for this game. Like, she helped the other actress do the voice. Uh, she's written for Chloe. She was saying stuff like, no, Chloe wouldn't say that. She'll say it like this instead. So she has so much influence in this game, in Life is Strange in general, in the whole fandom and everything. So I just can't wait to play it. And I'm glad that she's back. Woohoo! And Strike is over. I think it ended, like, in September or something like that. So, yeah, that's really awesome. I would like- uh, I won't even get into strikes. I think strikes are stupid, but... I it's like, you're fighting for your rights, though. I mean, well, it's whatever. Was she really, though, or was she fighting for a bigger paycheck? Like... Well, I think- okay. See, that, that's I think it depends. when it comes to strikes. I think it, de I think it depends, because some people might be doing that, but others might be doing it because of the way that they're treated. Well, and yes, what they have to do because of what you're treated for and the then, strain yes. i yeah I'm so i think it. it depends but yeah. the ones who do it for money like uh i don't want to jump too much into this but uh, i was reading this article about this actor who was actually like go, uh was all like wanted to go on strike and didn't want to do a move like a return for a movie because he wasn't going to be paid over five hundred thousand k and i was like are you serious right now so because you're not being paid to do that one movie that much money you're not going to do it for your fans when you have yeah, soldiers that's... you have firefighters you have police officers who obviously don't go running up to a scene and they're like oh wait i need another thousand dollars before i walk into this burning building guys <laughs> wow sorry not happening yeah really grow the hell up people i'm sorry but that just uh it irks me strikes are the same way like, when... I, I understand if it's because you're being treated badly or whatever. I completely agree right, with right. that. But if it's just money-wise and you're making good money, think of your fans. Don't think about the freaking money. Like, really. Like, now if you're being paid really horribly, like, you're only making, like, under minimum yeah. wage and all this other crap, then yeah. Obviously, obviously. But... Which is why I respect her so much. Because obviously we don't know, like, everybody's situation. No, but I no. do respect because she didn't have to go into the studio and help them write for no, exactly. Chloe's character. She didn't have to do any of that. But she chose to go in there and have something to do with the project. Even if it wasn't voice acting, which is her main job. It was in another capacity. So I think that she did that for the fans. Which I really respect that about her. And I did used to, like... I used to watch her and like the behind the scenes stuff when she was explaining everything and I was just like oh man she's so awesome but it sucks that she wasn't doing the voice but I'm glad that now she's back um again she didn't even have to take that bonus episode no, but she could have just been time, like no let the other girl finish it you know but that's where the issue still comes in like these whole like the strike purposes just themselves uh especially when it comes to video games once you have already changed the character's voice like, we've seen it with Nolan North and uh, Dinglebot there when they actually 
switched out the names. Now, nobody was on strike, obviously, but they still switched out the names. And there was still that big difference that people could tell. When you take a game yeah. that has such an emotional drive, like Life is Strange, and you change a character's voice, people know. You don't get... Like, obviously, you're still going to feel as intense about the game, but people who are really hardcore and who are really driven into the story of these games will still feel a little bit different because it's not the original voice. And you can tell that. And yeah. it does still throw no, some people I, off. That is my big thing. Yeah. And the union was actually... Uh, so the union won fair wages and more transparency for their work on the video games. And actors are now free to go back to work. So, Yeah. I, I know what you money. mean, though. Like You could tell the difference, especially when it impacts uh, the story. Yeah. But it did help um, that... It was Chloe at a different point in her life, uh, so it did. Like, it helped that it was different. Like she was a younger version of the character, and the voice wasn't that off. Yeah, there were certain things that she would say, and I was like, "Well, I'm pretty sure Ashley would have sounded differently saying that." But it was more about what was being said instead of how it sounded. To mm -hmm. be honest, um, so overall the. Both games are great, and both actresses have great voice acting skills, but um, I'm just glad that she's back because she is my favorite from the original game, obviously. Uh, but yeah, no knock at all to the other actress who took over her place. And it's not like they're going to delete her voice completely like she didn't exist, like they did with Norlin North and Dinglebot and all that. Yeah. Like, they deleted all the other stuff, and then they put him over it, which was kind of weird. See, I don't think they're going to do this for Life is Strange. I think they're going to leave it as it is. And just the fact that it happened, and people know, and it's, uh, like, different parts in Chloe's life. Yeah. And that's why she sounds differently. She's going through different things. But yeah, Very overall, cool. I'm just glad she's back. Uh, Evil Energy Jason. Hey, how are you, Jason? Um, For your question about the uh, rank play available for Call of Duty World War II... Uh, I believe the United States is supposed to actually be getting the first rank play season. Uh, was supposed to, I believe, start today at 10 a.m. PST time or PD time or whatever the heck it is. I believe it was supposed to kick off today uh, at 10 a.m. So this should be, what, sometime really? Like, maybe now? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I believe uh, the season's already started for rank play. So Cool, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, well, I get emails about it, so. Yeah, it is on now, so. Um, alright, we're going to jump into one of the fun things that we do like to do on our show, and that is our... I don't know, I need a drum. <laughs> Not really, but... No, like, like this? Sure, it's that, a little that. quiet on your end, but it works. Oh, it works. Okay. All right, we're going to jump into the gaming list challenge. Now, as everybody knows, we like to go through um, different websites. Usually Fox ends up going through and actually finding them. Um, we look for different lists that we like to see if they're actually plausible or if they're actually good lists to go off of or if they're, you know... Do these games actually deserve to be on these lists? Uh, for instance, uh, one of the ones we had was the worst cover, like video game covers of all times. Mm -hmm, now, there was mm -hmm. a lot we definitely agreed with. Uh, and then there was obviously five games you should never play alone, which Fox agreed yep. with. I didn't agree <laughs> with, but Fox definitely agreed with. I agreed with most of that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this week, Fox found uh, top five things that Nintendo Switch does right. Well, I can tell Which you one really thing rare. that uh, Nintendo it's Switch really does wrong. Yeah, we could talk about that all day. But um, <laughs> I could. actually... And you know what that is? Party chat. Party chat, party chat. Fix your crap. <laughs> Anyways. All right, Fox, take it away. Um... So yeah, there's actually a list that I saw, and I was like, wow, that's unique. Plus, we never talk about Nintendo Switch because, well, I don't... We don't really care for that console, but um, I saw this list and I thought it would be unique and interesting for us to talk about. So the top thing, or the, the fifth thing they have on there, um, the core uh, concept, uh, the way the, the system works. So yeah, the, the core concept, it works well. The fact that you could switch it from handheld to the TV. 
So the fact that that works very well and you could go back and forth very easily without having to do too much, uh, that's on the list. And yes, I agree with that, definitely. What do you think? I definitely agree with that one. Um, they they did it really smoothly where all you have to do is just take the handheld, the portable part of it, in and out mm -hmm. of the dock. That's it. Yep. And it turns on. You don't on have to worry about off. plugging anything in or pressing another switch or like no, messing with it too much. Put it in, pull it out. That's all you have to do. <laughs> Pretty simple. <laughs> Anyways, the docking uh, is displayed games on a TV while placing the Joy-Cons uh, on the tablet. Uh, you can remove them, obviously, and of course there's the controllers that you can use as well. They both worked really, like, I, I thought, I think this is a good one to have on the list. They did it very well, uh, but I'm not yeah. really surprised because they kind of did it not too bad when they had the, um, the Wii U. They mm. were kind of getting that concept going pretty good. We're yeah, that's where do... they were testing it out and messing with it. So yeah. yeah, you could definitely tell that's where they they got their initial like idea. testing and, and yeah. yeah, and the idea from, and then now they like implemented it way better. And so yeah, that concept of I'm playing. Oh well, I gotta go out right now. Once you pick it up, you still have the same thing right there in that yeah. screen. You don't have to worry about loading it up again or restarting it or anything like that. So I think that's actually really really good. That's true. Uh, number four on this list is early third-party support. So, for instance, uh, the Switch uh, is seen releasing Skyrim, Doom, Sonic. Um, they also released FIFA 18. Now, I don't... Okay, so... Obviously, they did it, they did it right, but at the same time, they, I don't really see why this would be on this list, because... They could have, they had the chance of not getting it, but obviously the developers were like, oh, hey, you know, we want to, we want to try this out and see, and it's not like they're getting third-party support for a lot of games. They're just getting it for a few games that obviously are ideal to put on to the Switch. So, I think, I think the reason why it's here on the, obviously, this should be a common thing, right? For yes. every system. Any system but should have the reason. Play. Yes, but the reason why that's here is because it failed so badly on the previous system. Well, so since the yeah. Wii U has such a bad rep for third party, that's why it's on this list. Because they're starting off right with third party support. Uh, I get what and you even mean. okay. Yeah, and even though not all the third party games are out right now, they're being promised as yes, we're working on something or we're gonna give you a port of something that's already out, you know, stuff like that. So I think that's why it's on the list, and I think it's pretty cool, because you have Bethesda, EA, uh, Ubisoft, always there. Yeah. Um, you have a lot of indie games that are on the Switch, actually, which I was impressed with. I didn't think they were going to do that, or I didn't think it was easy to port for or to, like, code for. And then you have Sega, like, the new Sonic games are on there, and they're actually a big hit. The Sonic games are just, like, I guess they're right under Mario, of course, because Mario's number one on the Nintendo, but, um, I think the the new uh, Sonic games, like the Mania and the uh, Sonic Forces, they're doing very well on that handheld, and I was actually surprised. Yeah. Very true, very true. Alright, the other one that's on here, <laughs> oh my god, I don't know about this. This is number three, it says, uh, it doesn't look like a toy. Uh, kinda, I mean, I don't know. If you have the colorful Joy-Cons on the side, it kinda does. But it's it still looks like, like a, a heavy... dog. You can stick the thing into. First off, take your okay, take the controller, and then take your Joy Cons and put it in, and it looks like a dog face. You're telling you're talking me about that the... it doesn't look like a toy. You're talking about the Joy Con uh, controller. Yes. Yeah, that does look like a toy, and it feels like a toy. It does. I've I've actually held that in my hands. It is so lightweight. I feel like it's a little toy or something like Legos. I don't yeah, know. now it's like the weird. docking system, obviously, it it's black, it's square. You know, you put the it's screen, and the screen looks like a tablet. So, like overall, okay, so yeah. Like, this is a weird thing, like this whole statement, like it looks look like a toy. I think it depends because you could convert it into so many different things, right? You just described like three different ways of the way it looks. So I think uh, it for, depends. Hold on, hold on one sec. So for anybody uh, watching on Mixer, hopefully this goes through. We could possibly be having issues because there's a lot going on today with um, the, um, the Xbox Extra Life stuff. 
that it's possible Mixer could kind of be getting a little overwhelmed with everything going on. Um, there is uh, some really big charity stuff that is going through, like I said, with Extra Life. Um, it's, uh, it's a really big charity uh, that helps, obviously, uh, raise money for children. Uh, and it's all, you know, all through the gaming and all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's a lot going on with it today. There's uh, been a 27-hour stream of it. Wow! Yeah, so... Um, for anybody, uh, just, I'm hoping it's gonna go through and you guys will be able to hear this, but, uh, I believe that is why Mixer is kind of going slow and lagging a bit because in all, uh, there's a lot of people on Mixer right now kind of paying, you know, jumping into that, so... Just bear with us, guys. Bear with us. Refresh. Um, refresh yes, and come refresh back. Refresh pages. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully everything kind of pulls through for you guys. But if not, just jump over to the YouTube for the time being. Um, but I just want to let everyone know. And of course, after the show, make sure you guys go and check out Extra Life. I'll actually be attending with Roby in the morning. So, yeah. Anyway. She's already doing plugs. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, I just figured I might as well throw it out while... Mixer is still yeah, somewhat good. going. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyways, uh, back to the list. Yeah, the Switch list. Uh, do you want to skip to the next one? Uh, yeah, we'll go to uh, Good Launch Year. That I absolutely agree with. They did it... So even though it was delayed and we were all kind of like, what the heck is going on? What the heck is this thing? They did it good. They didn't... You know, that was one of the problems with like the Xbox One X, the Xbox One S... And even the PlayStation 4 Pro, they all get leaked. So then everybody's kind of like, oh, yay, we already know what's coming. And <laughs> where the Nintendo Switch, they literally didn't show anything or tell anything about anything going on with it. Like, it was insane. Nobody knew about what games were coming. Nobody knew how much storage. Nobody knew like about any of this. They did amazing with just kind of coming out and being like, "Here you go, it's ready," and this is what we're giving yeah. you. So, yeah, um, the fact that it says "good launch year," okay, I'll agree with that. Now, if it would have had like a good launch or something like that, then I would have completely not agreed with this in the list because it did come out with Zelda, and like maybe two. Or three other games, and yeah. that's it. So that was pretty bad to start off with. So that first month was pretty rough. Unless you love Zelda. In that case, then you're you're golden. Um, but even that came out on the Wii U. So, hmm, kind of questionable. But I, I'm glad that they did point it out. Good launch year. Because they do have a lot of, uh, like I said, the third-party support that is either... Um, out or they've already promised to come out soon mm -hmm. and their first party is actually pretty stellar because Zelda and Mario are out now and they're both really really high on Metacredit and a lot of people love those games and then on top of that they have other first party support or pretty titles that um, make the console shine of course which is like Fire Emblem Splatoon and then they had that new IP which actually a lot of people liked and enjoyed which was ARMS um, so that was pretty cool. So I think that overall the year is pretty strong. The fact that there's still people going out there and looking for them in the stores and they're still interested and there you can't wait to play that Mario title or, you know, the Zelda yeah. title or Fire Emblem. I think that's really great. So I think it's getting good uh, recognition now as the year has gone by and we've seen what is coming or what is already out for the system. Yeah, this is... <laughs> no, there's something wrong with, like, all the streaming things. Even YouTube is having problems itself, though. Uh, I'm looking at its data right now, and it's saying that YouTube is experiencing a high uh, altitude of, like... It's saying, like, uh, viewers may experience buffing and all that kind of stuff. I get, like... Is the extra oh, thing going for... on on YouTube as well? Like, is there, like, just so I don't think so. streaming today? I don't know what it is, but, um, I mean, it sucks for the people that are watching right now, so sorry about that, guys. Bear with us. Thanks for hanging out in both chats, but I'm pretty sure it will be fine for everyone who's listening later. Um, I hope so. it, it shouldn't have those issues at all, from what I know. I hope so. Well, we're at, uh, 1.30 anyways, so, uh, if you want to just jump to, um, 
We'll just do like two questions and then we'll get out of here. I think I think that's all we have is two questions. All right. Well, then read them out and we will. Yeah, we'll go from there because it just seems like there's a lot of issues in general with the streaming today. All right. So thank you for the guy to, to the guys mm. to everyone who has uh, sent us questions or anything like that on Twitter or in the last video's comment section. Really appreciate it. Uh, even if you guys use the hashtag for gaming, then uh, the first question is from Scrotum, uh, and he said, "Worst game you've played this year? What is that?" I think we've answered this before. I think we've said like which. Worst game we've ever played. I think Noof asked that a long, long while ago. Uh, and I think I said COD. <laughs> and you're mad at me. Probably. So worst I probably said Ben Hur. This year? I probably said Ben Hur, actually. I don't what remember. What is the worst game I've played this year? Hmm. That's a tough one. I don't the know. Worst game I've played this year. I haven't really played any really bad games, to be honest. Yeah, a lot of games I played were really good, actually. I'm trying to think PlayStation and Switch right now, just in case. I can't think of anything on the Xbox. No, I can't think of, like, I can't really think of anything on any of them. Hmm. I don't know. I can't think of anything that's really bad. Hmm, I should have I should have thought of this question last night. <laughs> I I have no idea. Like I haven't. Really should I be a troll? Anything. Should I be a troll and say Cuphead? <laughs> that would be funny. That would actually be Cause it's funny. Because it's really hard. <laughs> I'm gonna be a troll. I'm gonna say Cuphead. <laughs> You're gonna just say Cuphead just to be a troll. I'm just gonna. Yep. Just because people are gonna hate there, me. There. Uh. There was this game that I was. Streaming that I didn't really like too much, but I can't think of what the heck it was called though. Was it that shooter? That like uh, first person shooter kind of weird Which game. One? You were jumping around houses and stuff. I don't know. It was really weird. I was jumping around houses. Yeah, and it was like a first person shooter. And you were like shooting other people and stuff. It was like very kiddie though. I don't know. It was really odd. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> She can't remember it. No, that was it was that it. bad. No, because I I don't remember playing any first person shooters like that, so I don't know. Truthfully, I, I haven't really person. played any really bad, bad games this year, to be honest. Yeah. I a Cuphead is awesome, but it's really tough. I mean that's why I'm just messing with it, but uh I don't know, I can't think of anything. That's bad. Jesus, I have hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I can't think of any, so I'll have to disagree this time around. Even Star Wars? You like Star Wars? I like the campaign. I actually really enjoy the campaign on that game. Nice. So... Yeah, I don't know, Scrotum. Sorry, bro. I can't think of anything, to be yeah. honest. So that is an odd question I should have thought of. I games that I, you know, I was just kind of like, uh, I wish I wouldn't have played that, but I can't think, like... Obviously, you don't sit there and think about them, so remembering. Yeah, because once you try them, whether it be a, a beta or um, or a demo or a trial, if you don't like them right away, you just get off of them, right? I mean, exactly. I don't keep playing games like that, so it is tough to think about. Okay, so let's go to the next question because yeah. I don't want to like linger on. All right, Timidos, uh says or asks, is there any features from one game that you'd like to see? Um, incorporate it into more games. Hashtag for gaming, then. Uh, a feature from one <laughs> game that I would like to see in other games. More loot crates. More loot. No kidding. Um, <laughs> Foxy's just trolling today. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. Let's see. These okay. Are well, hard I think. Questions. Yeah, these are tough questions. But he, he did give me a good example, which I do agree with. Um, he mentioned, like, the re active reload that we have in Gears that shortens your reload sp uh, time. You know that? Yeah. So when you reload in Gears, you can either let it reload the whole way or you can, like, go oh, on this, this little special. line. Okay, yeah, yeah. I yeah. know what you're talking about. Uh, what you call so it does, does that? Star Wars does that. 
Oh, Star Wars does that too? Mm. I haven't even noticed. I've been playing too much Starfighter Assault. I don't know. <laughs> but that's cool, you see? that They should do that in more games, where they, they have that little special... Call of Duty. Call of Duty needs that. <laughs> Call of Duty. But not in hardcore. Don't put that in hardcore, though. <laughs> no, that'd be bad in hardcore. That's a that's an automatic death as soon as they look at you. But yeah, they should yeah. do that active reload in other games. I like that. And it's cool that they have that in Star Wars. I don't remember seeing that in the beta, to be honest. Hmm. So yeah, that's cool. Let's see. What else? What other features? Like rewind feature? What do you think about rewind? Because I know Forza has rewind when you're like racing. And well, I don't know. I don't know if other games should have that as well. But I, I that is I a cool think... feature that I like. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I wouldn't need that. Oh, okay. Half She's like, I'm a good I driver. Die, I don't need I'm that. Already di I'm not a big racer game, like racer, so... And half the time if I die, I've already died, so... I, I, if I, okay, if I'm racing and I, I turn and it's kind of off and somebody passes me, I rewind. Because I'm like, no, I could have done that turn better and he would have not passed me, right? So I rewind, I make my turn better, and he's still behind me. So that's why I like it for, like, well, it's uh, specific cool. turns. In, in game, like, racing games, but... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know if I want that in other games. I mean, it's on Life is Strange for a reason, but that's a different thing, right? Um, but that's why I like that. I don't know. I find um, most features on games. Ah, wow. Uh, I find most oh, features the... on games are usually based on those games, so. I don't really know if yeah. I want them in other games. Hmm, interesting. Mm, I'm trying to think of something else. Okay, well, I can't think of anything else that I want. <laughs> I should have thought of these questions last night, to be honest. I just don't really have good answers for either of them. Sorry, guys, but this is... I think if we would have thought of it, we could have, you know, Maybe? it would have been better. But I think so. there isn't really any, st like... Oh, okay, here's another feature. You know how, like, in Batman or in Tomb Raider, you could, like, have that other view? Like, detective mode, or I forgot what it's called in, in Tomb Raider. Okay. But, like, that you could see... Like, little clues and shit, like yeah. that. I like that. And I want other games to have that as well. I like that. You know what I mean? Pretty sure other games have that. That's the thing. Like, mm. that that's the funny part. There, There's a lot of features that games already have, just people don't actually notice that they have them. That's, that's mm, why I kind of, like, I kind of find that a little funny. It's a good question. Don't get me wrong, I just... There's a lot of games that actually have really neat features that are like a lot of other games, but people just don't actually use them or realize that they're there, so they don't really use them. So. Okay. True, true, true. I got yep. you. But alrighty, All right. guys. We are officially yes. hitting that kind of mark, so... Uh, that is this week's show. I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm sorry there seemed to be some, ha uh, some streaming issues near the end. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed the topics. Uh, we try to bring you guys a lot of different information over, like during the week. And hope you guys had fun hanging out with us for your lunch time and all that fun stuff. Uh, I was one of your hosts of today's show. You can find me on Mixer Monday to Friday. Um, my schedule is usually, uh, it's actually in the description below on Mixer. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to everyone that did watch on Mixer and that hung out in YouTube. You guys are all amazing and you guys are absolutely the best. Thank you for spending your lunchtime with us. Uh, and of course, now I'll, I'll hand it off to my co-host. Yeah, so I completely agree. Thank you to everybody who's hanging out in both chats. Really appreciate it. Um, and thank you to everybody who watches later on. Don't forget to uh, check out that giveaway. Thanks to mm -hmm. Chicken Spaghetti. So that's really cool. And um, yeah, sorry for the technical issues. You said all this stuff. I don't know why I'm repeating it. Uh, you guys can find me on Twitter, uh, posting Foxy deals and whatnot. Uh, my YouTube channel, I started making videos again. So if you guys want to subscribe, that would be nice. And also hit that follow button on my mixer because uh, I just hit 300. And yes. why not have more for when I do stream, which is very nice. Very nice. I love that when she does stream. When I, when I, yeah, I'm not going to make promises. God, I don't like making promises and breaking them. Okay. So, you guys know when I be there, I'll show some gears, some Call of Duty, 
maybe some Star Wars because I do like playing that Starfighter, so which we forgot to talk about, but it's all good though. Oh, we did too. Our impressions. That's all right. We should hit that on the console corner on Tuesday. So, um, yeah, make sure you guys tune in on Tuesday to the console corner. Uh, everybody should be back and feeling back a hundred percent. So make sure you guys we'll check see. that out. Yeah, I hope so. Flu season but sucks. Yeah. But uh, either way, I hope you guys come and hang out with us. Um, also, uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow morning. Yes, I don't usually stream on Saturdays, but I have a special stream that I'll be doing with Jez and Roby, one Kenobi from uh, Microsoft. So make sure you guys come and check that out tomorrow morning. It's going to be insane. I'm probably going to be very tired and need a lot of coffee. But it should still be fun. And other than that, make sure you guys go and check out the uh, extra live streams after this because there's a lot of cool stuff going on. And I'm sure there's a lot of giveaways. They usually do giveaways. So Yes, I saw some good stuff on there. Other than that, Thank guys, you guys for watching. Absolutely. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. And an awesome weekend. We'll catch you guys later. Bye! Tonight we're running on the right track